Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 35 of my Let's Play of Monomous Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. I wouldn't be doing this except I missed a character quest that I needed to do. In this particular save I hadn't recruited Anna so her request didn't show up on the board. In any case, now that I have her She's received a letter that really bothers her. So, could you confer with her about it? Hmm. Okay, so you came. Hey, hey. Yesterday, this letter came to me. It says that it's been one year since my husband was killed by an anteater girl. What is this? I also received a letter like this. Well, seeing as she's uh, omni omniscient and omnipotent, as she says. She really doesn't need to receive letters like this. Well, Sonia says she got one too. It seems to be a pretty large scale operation. Probably some kind of a scam. Lamb says she got one too. I didn't get one, she says. Gee, that's too bad, Aiden. Yeah, this is really mean. Anteater girls are really kind and peaceful. They wouldn't kill anyone. That being the case, let's investigate why everybody's receiving these letters. This spreading of malicious rumors, we really have to stop. So, according to the stamps on the letters, it's San Ilya. How about we ask the postmaster of the church? If you're talking about the leader of the post, he stays in San Ilya Castle, the main chapel. Usually he stays up in this one corner. Um, okay, let's go to the church. San Ilya. There it is. I'll save you the trouble of having to search the entire chapel for him. There he is. Are you the minister in charge of the post office? Well, yes. Yes, I am in charge of the post delivery. So, what can I do for you? Well, actually, this and this and that and that. Here's an explanation. I see you're trying to find who's sending the letters. In that case, it should be recorded in my data. Hmm. According to the records, his name is Gonzalez. He doesn't seem to be too ideologically inclined or anything. Why does the post office know about that? And his residence is in the town under... It is in the town around the castle. He has a wife and a... He has a wife and child. And he lives with them. And he's off to the west of the item shop. So, the sender is actually a male, saying that his husband was killed by an anteater. It's a straight red lie. Oh, why would he say such a mean lie? Let's go to his house. Mm, by the way, this doesn't have anything to do with the incident, but why does the post office 
has its office set up in the church. Well, oh crap, um, sorry, I thought I did something that I just needed to look at. Okay, so, their duty is to keep track of correspondences in an upright and righteous way, etc., etc., and that's why church people are doing it. Very important mission and all that. And that's why we need good men running the post office. Maybe she shouldn't have asked. Okay, anyway, let's go see this Gonzalez at his house. So, west of the... Uh, no, it wasn't item shop, it was the armor shop. Armor shop? West? Check. That doesn't look like a Gonzalez. Or that. That totally... Oh. She just popped out. You're Gonzalez, aren't you? You're trying to make anteater girls out to be villains with these letters. Oh, it's finally here. An anteater girl has come to kill me. Now my wife is really going to be a widow. And the ante anteater male. And it will be true. Uh, and the anteater male will become true. There we go. But that's exactly what I want. I need to spread the word about the evilness of the Anteater Girls. Huh. So it wasn't some kind of scam to con people out of money, hmm? The actual intention was to make Anteater Girls look bad. Yeah, that's right. Far from actually making money, this whole letter campaign has been a huge expense. So he says that while he was on the Holy Mountain Animals, he was attacked by an anteater girl. He lost his footing and fell down and got hurt. Oh hell, he even broke his leg. It's mostly healed now, but it's been a very unfree lifestyle he's lived with his leg like that. So every day as he looked at his broken leg, he swore. He would swear that the dangers of the anteater girls would be spread to the world. Lame. Anteater girls wouldn't attack people. Isn't there sir? some kind of misunderstanding. There is no mistake about it. They definitely came and knocked into me from behind. That was last year, Autumn, on the number three path of the mountain. Last year, fall, number three path. Don't tell me there was a big group of anteater girls running along? Yes, there were about 30 anteater girls. More than 30. All of them were talking about a war or a deployment or ant lions or something. Ah, uh, that was the anteater ant lion war. Yep, now that you mention it, during one of our deployments, I felt like I bumped into something. It was you! Uh, sorry. I was in a hurry, so it was accidentally, you know. Don't you know that? Don't you know at me? I fell down from the mountain path and broke my legs. Did you... Could you have seen the weird angle it was coming out? <clears throat> You should have seen the weird angle. Yeah, there we go. 
How much do you think it hurt? At my age, I, even a man at my age, I cried tears of pain. Oh, sucks for you. Oh, what an unfortunate accident. It's not just unfortunate. Apologize proper and, and furthermore, take responsibility. Do you want an ant? I don't need that crap. And how do you think it was after that? I fell to the earth and had to be saved by somebody who happened to be coming by, receiving emergency aid. And since that time, my legs haven't properly returned their sensations. I've received healing magic from priests and such, and the nightmare continued. Okay, he's blathering away about himself. Hannah's got the right thing. She sees an ant, and she wants to eat it. Hey, are you even listening? Yeah, I'm listening. So, as an apology, would you like this Ant Monthly magazine? I don't read that crap. And anyway, where do you buy that stuff? Such a crappy magazine. And after that, blah, blah. A diagnosis office, blah, blah. Wife and daughter, blah, blah. So, he continues complaining about his own misfortune for a good long time. But, in the end of it, the conversation came to a peaceful end. So, is it really okay that I take this sweater? Ooh, ah, uh, it's so fluffy and warm. Well, it was an accident that was brought about by my own carelessness. So as proof of my contrition, go ahead and take it. So, Anna came to face down her sin and made up for it. She gets speed plus 40%. And furthermore, this and monthly is actually pretty interesting. It seems like red ants can actually bite through steel. Pretty impressive. Hey, there's a column by the queen ant. What does it make to be a respectable leader? Hmm, I should have my boss read it. Uh, so, is the situation resolved? Yeah, thanks for coming along with me. Uh, Great. Farewell, ants. Well, we got a medal for it, which is probably more than we'll get out of that ability she got. So, let's continue our adventure. In other words, let's get out of here. So, yeah. I was careless in forgetting about this, but this time, we should be completely done with the Let's Play. So, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.